perfect? Yes, perfect. Okay. I was always drawn to pictures and images, even as a young kid. It's feeling like when I'm looking at a picture, I'm looking at another world. As far as I can remember, I always had a camera with me, you know, and I was always, even though these days in the Facebook uh, era, you know, where you have to have your profile, back then it was always pointed away from me, like towards something. I didn't know what I was documenting, even you know, when I was going to school, college. Um, I didn't know even if you could do photography, but something that appealed to me. I enjoyed the movies, not fanatically, where somebody would say, you know, I have to uh, watch these movies or this, but for me it was always about images, visuals. Uh, I'll pick up the camera, take pictures. Um, it, it just started from there. Um, I always one fashion or another documenting, uh, pointing it away for me, friends, relatives, and just grew out of that. So then well, I went to college not knowing any better, not knowing if I could even go into this field, you know, filmmaking, photography was just something out there. I didn't know any photographers uh, back then, but it just so happens that um, I moved, after graduating from school, I moved to Columbus, Ohio. I met up with Abdul Roblet and Tariq Tarek, two amazing photographers, and I saw what I wanted to do in what they were doing, and I was kind of drawn using the camera as a tool to affect uh, social change, you know, to bring about change. You know, always I would have these conversations with all my peers and friends. would always get heated debates about Somalia. It would always be, funny thing is everybody knows what is wrong with Somalia and how to fix it. But the problem, in my opinion, is they're so used to looking at it from this here, no other way. And photography gives you uh, the tools or maybe the mindset to look at things differently, observe the world differently. The thing for me that made the most impact in what I ended up getting into documentary photography was all this time when we asked about, okay, what is Somalia? This is wrong, this is wrong. At the end of this conversation, I always came up like, so what can you do by yourself? What are you planning to do? It always comes back to this. You know, everybody leaves. We all sit it here talking about this and that and the party ends or whatever ends and everybody goes their separate way but in the end you're always like what can you do by yourself because it always starts with one person to bring about a channel it's about okay what can you do and i was like you know what i can tell stories i'm always i always have a camera i'm always taking pictures a uh, great way to tell stories and educate people and bring awareness to a lot of things, uh, good or bad, that affects our society is through this amazing tool. And I saw exactly what I wanted to do, a reflection of myself in Happy Rock, a reflection of myself in Happy Rock. I was like, wow. Not only did they set the bar so high, like literally I wasn't into, a lot of times with immigrant communities, especially my community, as you find, people want to do something. You know, they want to do it. We're doing our best. Somalis are entrepreneur in their very nature. We always want to do something, but we always fall kind of short. And at least in my experience, a lot of people want to do it because people tend to settle for the bare minimum. Like, okay, I want to do photography. Okay, yes, I have a camera, take snapshots here and there. That's it. But what I saw in the entire is like, the bus set so high, it was almost like, you know, unimaginable, unattainable. But then it always came back to me, it was like, they're so modest. They did, you know. And I found in them the fact that, you know, they were willing, they were like so happy. Wow, here's another Somali baby, he take us somewhere. And he always said, one thing he said was, uh, if you see hal men out of Kiri North Manai, then there's a problem. You want to cultivate, you want to bring about the next kid who's actually going to raise the bar do better things that I haven't done. You know, I'm only getting started. And so it always comes back to what can you do for yourself and what can you do for the rest of the humanity. Uh, Somali people now in the diaspora, they see themselves in a new land. You know, it's a 
a lot of, not I wouldn't say issues, but there's also a lot of negotiating boundaries of our identity, you know, what it means to be someone. Obviously, which brings me back to the project that I just included, which is the Young Somali Men, uh, the, the Youth of Yaro project, um, which is actually uh, part of the included 13 young Somali men doing positive things in the community. Uh, that project sprung from the fact that all the image, images that we saw of young Somali men was something negative. Google Somali men with the images, something that it comes out and for me it was first of all, what can you how, how does a Somali young man vision? And then what are they about? What are they doing? How do they feel? How do they think? You know, I've been a young Somali man. I wanted to also see it, you know, uh, objectively, you know, tell the story through their eyes, but through me. Most people ask me, why is your picture not there? Because I said, there's your 13 of me. And it hit home for me, and it's so personal on that level that I wanted to do something positive for the community. And so it, it goes back to what can you do to implement change? And a lot of the questions that I asked was about identity. What does it mean to be a young Somali man in the Twin Cities, in America? What does it mean? How do Somalis back in Somalis? So back to the issue of identity, there's a lot of re negotiating, uh, a lot of the boundaries that are being tested. Uh, it's a good thing. It's not like at the core of it, we still remain Somali. We still remain who we are, but we're not isolated. It's not like we live on an island. We live in America. Uh, America, what some of the things that come up is what's the ideals of America um, uh, aligned with my ideals, you know, as a young man um, trying to attain uh, their dreams and aspirations. Uh, there's far more opportunities here than we have back home, but at the same time, it does not end doing good, does not stop and, you know, if you did good for yourself, for every one refugee that came here, you have about 10, 20 that they get a chance to come. It all goes back to what can you do for yourself, what can you do for your community. And right now that's where I'm at, you know, telling stories visually through the camera. Um, I, I love it. I don't see it as a day of work, you know, every time. It's just, I always tell people it's like you know, obsess to the point that you possess. My name is Mohamed Moumin. I'm a photographer based in Minneapolis. Thanks for having me.